Ladies and gentlemen, welcome yet again to another installment from the New York State Baseball Hall of Fame induction ceremony class of 2022. I'm Matthew Butner, joined now by legendary MLB manager Jack McKeon. Jack was inducted today, and Jack, how does it feel to be a Hall of Famer? Well, it's good to be old hat. You know, this is about the seventh state I've been in, so. But really, it's, a, it's an honor. This is one of the nicest uh, functions I've attended in a long time. The people there were so gracious, and, 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 and the thing I enjoyed mostly, they were good baseball fans. Absolutely, great baseball fans. You were a great baseball manager. What's the key in your mind to being a great baseball manager in a day where managers seem to be more, they, they seem to be put lower on the totem pole nowadays, for lack of a better word? Well, I think you just gotta be yourself, and, and the big thing to me is, you know, in my managing style, I, I was more concerned with, with the mental aspect than I, if you're going to get enough hitting, the hitters are going to get enough practice hitting, the hitters, the good hitters are going to hit, the good pitchers are going to pitch. Now prepare these guys mentally to make the right play. Play the game the right way. That's, that's the easiest way. Do the little things. Unselfish players is what I like. Now, you were the manager of the 2003 Marlins, upstart team that won the World Series, Marlins haven't won the World Series since, but you got knocked off the Yankees in Yankee Stadium. Thank you very much for that. What does it mean to be a World Series champion? Oh, uh, it's something you can't uh, you can't even describe. You know, many years, me, my wife, my kids, maybe sat around, watched the World Series, and watched the final game, and watched the celebration, and you say to yourself, God, what would it be? What would it feel like? And then we got a chance to realize that, and we felt that it was something special, something you can't forget. Now, in the middle of that series, uh, it was either game three or game four down in Miami, there was an extra inning walk-off home run by one of the young Marlins players that essentially shifted the tenor of the series for, in your favor. The Yankees win that game, maybe they come through, who knows, but it certainly looks good for them. At that point, what did it? What was going through your mind once you guys were able to grab the momentum like that? Well, I tell you, what went through our minds through the whole playoffs and the World Series was, we were a club that wasn't supposed to be there. We had no pressure on us, and I had meetings with the team and said, "Hey, let's go out and have fun. Let's play the same way we've been playing. There's no pressure on us. The Giants won 106 games. Well, we're not. They're, they're supposed to be here. They're supposed to win." Let the pressure be on them. And the same thing we follow through with the Yankees. The owner says to me, uh, hey, uh, are you going to talk to the players about the history of the Yankees and the monuments and everything? And I said, are you crazy? I said, these guys don't know whether they're in New York or Hoboken. <laughs> well, <laughs> New York is a nice place for those of you who are wondering. And in regards to that playoff, that was also known as the Steve Bartman incident uh, earlier in those playoffs in 2003. When that whole fiasco happened, what was your initial reaction? Because that was something that was out of left field, quite literally. Well, initially I thought that the, the, uh, the umpires ruled it correctly. It wasn't interference. And finally, you know, uh, uh, who was the left field? Uh, Moses, Moises Alou finally admitted uh, a couple of years later that he probably couldn't have caught it. Well, so, uh, you know, but... You know, the pressure they put on that poor kid was unbelievable. But as, as, as I say about this team that I had, nothing stopped us. We were a club that give us, a, give us an opening and we're coming through. And then that's exactly what we had. And that, with that, I'd like to say congratulations again to New York State Baseball Hall of Fame inductee Jack McKeon, legendary MLB manager Jack Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations again, and we look forward to what comes next for you in life. Thank you, and enjoy being with you. Okay.